Google Cloud users in media, gaming, and retail, and many other industries are using Gen AI tools to augment their workflows for their content generation pipelines. But integrating all these different tools from different sources into their workflow can be cumbersome. That's where a combination of GKE and Comfy UI can provide you an unified interface for all your Gen Media requirements. Let's say you are a technical artist and you want to storyboard your ideas and generate digital content. As part of the digital content, you want to generate images and videos. Maybe you will use a stable diffusion model to generate the images. Once you have the image, you might want to feed the image into a nano banana model offered by Google to overlap images or create a second image. Once you have the second image, then you might want to create some videos based on that image. It may require you to hop on between different interfaces like Vertex AI in Google Cloud or some other tools to be able to achieve all of this. Now, what if you have a unified interface to achieve all of this right from the beginning where you provide a text to generate an image until the point you get a video created? This is where Comfy UI on GKE can help you. With Comfy UI running on GKE, you can access your open models, your fine-tuned models, and Google's proprietary models like Imagine, Vio, and the latest one, Nana Banana. While Comfy UI gives you an easy-to-use visual workflow, if you are trying to do a number of tasks like add description to a thousand different images, that can be cumbersome and slow. That's where the Comfy UI API comes in. You can run your workflow in batch in a programmatic way and let GKE handle the scaling to give you a cost-effective and efficient solution. For running demanding media generation workflows in Comfy UI, you might need access to accelerators like TPUs and GPUs. In GKE Autopilot with Spot, DWS, and compute classes, you will be able to get the resources when you need it, where you need it. So now let's use Comfy UI to generate image based on text. We will use stable diffusion model running on GKE. And as you can see, the text that I am going to provide is image of a man walking down the streets of Manhattan. Now let's go ahead and run this workflow. And there you have your image created. Now let's run another workflow where we will use stable diffusion and imagine to generate images based on the same text. As you can see, the text that I'm going to provide here is image of a man walking down the streets of Manhattan. And I'm supplying the same text to both stable diffusion model as well as the image model. Now let's go ahead and run this workflow and see the images generated. Boom, we have the images generated from two different models with the same text prompt. So in this way, you can generate the images based on different models. And also, you can use the same model and play around with its configuration and parameters to generate different kinds of images. We can use Comfy UI for also generating videos. We have view models, but we also have options in open models. In this workflow, we'll be generating two videos. We'll be using our state-of-the-art VO3 model as well as the open LTXV model. We run the workflow and Comfy UI will go through in sequential fashion through both of the paths to generate two different videos. As you can see, after a few seconds, both of the videos are now generated. So in this use case, we are generating an image of a model based on a text. And then we have product images, which is four dresses that we are going to create the virtual try-on on. And at the end, we are going to generate a video based on the virtual try-on images. As you can see, we have the image of the model generated based on the text we provided to Imagine for Node. The virtual try-on model has given us four images using the product images. And now the VO model has generated the videos based on the virtual try-on images. As you can see, we have got four videos created of each of the individual images that were passed to it. If you haven't heard already, Nano Banana or Gemini 2.5 Flash Image is our latest image generation model, which is really great at editing images. In this example, we have two images, one of an empty room and another of an image of nine different products. Here, what we're asking Nano Banana to do is take the images of the empty room and the products and place them in the environment. And once the image is generated, we will then run the view model again to generate a simple video showcasing the product. Here, the image is generated, and I can notice all the images that was provided have been placed in the room. And then, VO3 will take this image and generate a product showcase video. And here, we have the video generated from VO3 showcasing all our wonderful products. Now, you might be wondering, this is all cool, but how do I try this? Well, we have got you covered. 
we have published a reference architecture to install Comfy UI on GKE. And you can find the link to that in the video. For our Comfy users, we also published the custom nodes for VO3, VO2, Imagine, Imagine 4, and Nano Banana and Virtual Tryon that you can use in your own work. In this video, we saw how GKE and ComfyUI can be a powerful combination for all your Gen Media needs. Hopefully, you will try it out and let us know how it goes in the comments.